Dear students, we were discussing the impact of computer science on our lives and today we will be focusing on the social issues of information technology or computer science which have been imposed on our lives. So here are some of the issues which I have listed related to information technology are using the digital devices, computer science or for example mobiles or some other things. So first of all the problem is that your communication breakdown. This means that when you are not using digital devices you are dealing with the humans, you are communicating with the humans, you are exchanging your thoughts, your ideas with the humans and trying to grasp their valuable knowledge and suggestions into your particular lifestyle. So when you are uh, sitting ideally uh, in front of computer, this means that you are not communicating physically with the humans. And you cannot get all of the required information to live a healthy life from computer. So you need some time when you deal with the humans, especially your elders and their wisdom, their knowledge can make you really someone, some very valuable, good human being. Then there is another problem known as identity theft. So this means that your identity can be stolen. So for example, your Facebook ID is stolen and then the person who has stolen your Facebook ID is making some fake messages, some fake news and that is being broadcast to all of the community. And similar kind of identity can be stolen in different dimensions, not only in the uh, social media. So whenever your identity is stolen, so it can have very severe effects on your life. Then there is another concept known as cyberbullying, which means that when you are using digital world, the computer science, information technology to communicate with others, so others can make a negative influence on you and can drag you to fulfill their needs and can be very harmful on your personality. So they can ask you to do something which is illegal. So this kind of issues can also uh, be uh, happen and those are called cyberbullying. Then there is another issue social issue that is game addiction. So our kids are more and more addicted with the games. So there are variety of games available and whenever someone uh, play one game, so that game attracts the person or user. So they keep on playing, playing, playing and sometimes that playing uh, severely affect their academic performance. For example, there are many, many research studies in the world that the kids who were more addicted to the games, they were not even able to pass their exams because they are playing games whole night and in the morning they are sleeping, that's it. So this is one of the other issue of social issue of information technology. Then we have discussed a little bit about privacy in the last module that your data might be stolen or your data might be used illegally. And then there are many health and fitness issues because you are always sitting on computer and you are not doing any physical activity. So with the passage of time, you will adopt or you will have severe health issues. So you might have seen that computer programmers are persons who are very addictive of using computer science or other digital devices day and night 
so they have many many severe issues of their health for example they have might have some problems with their vision they might have some problems with their elbows with their hands and of course they are getting more weight and there are many many other issues then there is a very important issue which is known as plagiarism plagiarism is very severe issue that you copy someone's idea and pretend that it is yours so for example when your instructor your teacher or your client were giving you task previously you try to invest your effort you try to contribute and try to invent something and try to do really an honest work nowadays the practice is that whatever work you are assigned you are going on the internet getting that information and then just slightly changing some of the things and then you are saying it is yours so this is very bad practice if you are using any content from anywhere then you must acknowledge that this has been taken from this website or from this book so this is very important then there is a terrorism activities online so it is very easy because now you can access you can communicate with everyone in the world even you are sitting in one corner of the world and you can plan activities terrorism activities in the other corner of the world using digital technologies then there is a increase in the crime and then there is a access to forbidden literature which is illegal so that kind of literature is also available digitally and you can access that literature so this mean that whoever is using computer science or any digital device that person need proper training and proper counseling that uh, these kind of issues should not happen and the person should try to avoid such kind of problems while using the computers so let's summarize today's module we have learned about social issues of it we have discussed that what are important uh, societal issues of using the devices especially the computer and we have discussed that uh, those people who are using computer or some other digital devices they should be warned they should be properly uh, counseled that they should uh, use those devices with proper measures and they should use it legally and try to avoid all of the illegal content and they should also get some of the time where they can actually leave the computer and they actually go in the real world and try to communicate with the real persons in the world